Hello my darlings and welcome. In this video, I make six herbal infusions, explain the magical properties of each ingredient, and share how they can be used to add magic to your daily routine. Let's do some magical crafting. In this video, I show you how to make simple infusions for six different magical uses. I've included timestamps so that you can navigate to whichever topic interests you. I'll show you how to make each one of the projects that I'm making these infusions for in future videos. You may notice my nails and beverages change throughout the video, and that's because I filmed these infusions on several different days. The first infusion I'm making is rose infused honey. For any infusion that's meant to be consumed, it's important to use non-toxic and food-grade flowers, spices, and herbs. Do not use roses from a florist that have been grown with chemical fertilizers, pesticides, and preservatives to keep them looking fresh in the store. Those will leach into the honey. I'm filling the jar pretty full of flowers and pouring the honey on top and letting it seep down, giving it a stir or two to bring the honey down and the dry flower petals up. I'm creating this rose-infused honey as an ingredient for a rose honey chocolate candy recipe I intend to make, with the intention of making those who share the candy with me feel loved and valued. I stir this intention into my honey and I visualize the friends and family members I intend to gift these chocolates to as well. Honey is a popular ingredient in magic to sweeten people's disposition towards you, and roses are often used in spell work to attract love and friendship. Again, I add honey on top and stir. Then I tightly screw the lid on the jar and use a white chalk pen to mark the bottom. The second infusion I'm making is calendula oil. I start by filling a jar loosely with dried calendula flowers. And then I add olive oil to submerge the flowers and fill the jar. I also add my intentions to this ingredient. Once it's infused, I intend to use this oil to create a calendula salve. Calendula is often included as an ingredient in herb infused oils that serve as the base for first aid and wound salves. Calendula calms the skin, reduces itching, and promotes skin cell regeneration. It's filled with the magic of the sun, and this includes success, wealth, and energy. These are the attributes I'll be infusing into the oil and into my own life when I eventually use the salve I created from it. The third infusion I'm making is lavender oil. Magically, lavender has been used for thousands of years to protect from illness, evil, and bad luck. Lavender is used to relieve stress, anxiety, and irritability. It promotes calm and restful sleep, relieving exhaustion and insomnia. It can relieve headache and migraines and lift depressed spirits. The scent of lavender is very potent, so a jar full of the flower will scent this olive oil very well. I've been using ancient Greek remedy oil as a moisturizer for my hands for years, and I love it. It's a blend of olive oil, grapeseed oil, lavender, and vitamin E oil. And I've decided to create my own version of this oil and imbue it with glamour magic. The fourth infusion I'm making is rosemary in olive oil. This is the only herb I'll be using that's fresh rather than dried. Be very careful about using fresh vegetable matter in oil infusions, as they contain a lot of moisture and can mold in your jar over time. I always recommend using dried herbs in infusions. 
I will watch this oil very carefully to make sure it's not spoiling. I'm using a metal spoon with holes in it to pull my rosemary off of the stems. This protects my hands from the sticky oils this plant produces. You will not need to worry about this if you're using dried rosemary. Rosemary is used magically to cleanse, protect, and eliminate negative energy. It's used for home protection and spells for memory to stop gossip and remove jealousy. It's a wonderful all-purpose herb and one of my favorites as I find it easy to grow in the climate I live in. I'm creating this oil to use in several recipes and so I'm making quite a lot of it. I'll be using the majority of this infusion to craft handmade rosemary shampoo. Rosemary oil, massaged into the scalp, is believed to prevent baldness and stimulate hair growth. Rosemary oil rubbed into the ends of hair will also help reduce split ends. In a smaller jar, I'm placing fresh rosemary and covering it with apple cider vinegar to infuse. This will be for a hair rinse. This rinse can be diluted in water and applied to freshly washed hair by dunking in a bowl or with a spray bottle. If you don't like the vinegar scent, you can also infuse water with rosemary by simmering it in a pan, then letting it cool, straining out the herbs, and bottling the water. Any infusion of rosemary makes an excellent hair rinse, gradually covering gray hair and adding strength and shine to any color of hair. It also helps reduce dandruff and stimulate hair growth. And my third and final rosemary infusion starts with eucalyptus leaves. I've dried these eucalyptus branches and now I'm pulling off the dried leaves and adding them to a jar with fresh rosemary and olive oil. I intend to use this infusion to create rosemary, eucalyptus, bath fizzies, and bath oil for ritual bathing on the new and full moons. Like rosemary, eucalyptus leaves are commonly used in purification magic. They're great for cleansing and protection. In a bath added to hot water and infused through the steamy air, Eucalyptus is excellent for opening the lungs and clearing clogged nasal passages and bronchial congestion. The essential oil is a good pain reliever for sore muscles and arthritis pains. The final infusion is a love oil. I begin with hibiscus leaves. They are a go-to plant for me when it comes to any kind of love magic. This flower is commonly used in love and beauty spells and is associated with marriage, passion, and lust. Next, I'm adding rose petals. I'm adding roses from three different sources as each of these holds a personal significance as to where I got them from and I like to add that personal connection into my magic. I'm adding a cinnamon stick into the jar, a powerful love drawing herb in its own right. Cinnamon can also add some spice into the infusion. Cinnamon can boost all your other ingredients and make them work more quickly or more powerfully. And finally, I'm adding dried passion flower. You can purchase a tea blend like this one if you do not have access to passion flower in your area. They cannot survive where I live. Passion flower promotes emotional balance, peace, attracts friendship and prosperity. It's also believed to heighten libido and is used in love spells and magical tea blends for this effect. I'm using sweet almond oil instead of olive oil for this infusion because it's lighter. It's a great moisturizer and helps condition the skin. I like to use this base oil in glamour spells and homemade skincare products, which is what I'll use this infusion for when it's ready. 
I placed all of my jars on the very top of my bookshelf to infuse. I like to allow my oils and other infusions to sit in a cool, dark space for four to six weeks to infuse. Many people recommend a warm spot in the sun, but I like to think that a cooler spot will give my infused oils a slightly longer shelf life before I have to replace them. I'll show how to make each one of the projects that I'm making these infusions for in future videos.